we're here uh, to visit with the wine club and that's a Billabong club. So what we're doing is uh, anyone that wants to come along and pick up their wine rather than have it shipped to them can come along tonight. I also get uh, an opportunity to you know, have some terrific food, drink some great wine and uh, it's an opportunity to tell everyone what we've been doing. We'll kick it off tonight with, with a glass of sparkling, a sparkling out, out of Mendocino of course. Um, and it's a, wine, it's a wine that is a blend of Pinot Noir, slightly dominant on Pinot Noir, but also Chardonnay of course. Very classic blend. Um, we'll also do the 2005 Chardonnay and the 2004 Shiraz, which are the two wines that, that everyone is picking up tonight. And then on top of that, we're actually going to look at the 2004 Cabernet from Alexander Valley versus the 2005 Cabernet. We spent a lot of time working in, in, the, in the field uh, and in the cellar uh, and a long time from initiating a wine to finally getting it to bottle, to finally getting it to consumer. It was a great opportunity after all of that to finally show it to someone. <laughs> you know, it's kind of cool. The 2005 has not been released, as I think you know. We're tasting it tonight for the first time. It won a double gold at the San Francisco Chronicle event. It won't be released until whenever Michael says it'll be released, uh, but it'll be a few months from now. We have two vignettes. One's in the Yorkville Highlands, one's in the Alexander Valley. The, both, the two properties have a different climatic approach. Yorkville Highlands is, is a high altitude, coastal property, so it's very cool. We make things like our Sauvignon Blanc up there, our Pinot Noir up there. Um, Alexander Valley is a warmer location. That's where we make our Cabernet Sauvignon. Cabernet uh, it does accept you well with a bit of warmth. It allows us to get a little more opulence in the fruit, a little more ripeness, and great colour and great density. I went to the last wine club party and met a ton of people and the wine was excellent and so I decided to bring my husband who wasn't able to make it to this one. You get to meet a ton of people and find out how the wine is made and what you're going to get to take home with you. You know I think that brings a lot to the wine. We go down there we taste great wine, there's great people and that kind of drew us to tonight. We thought you know what are we going to do tonight? Wouldn't it be great if we you know, got a babysitter, went out into the, on the town and met up with the whole thing we got going on here. We're pretty serious about our wines, pretty serious about what we do, but when we finally get to this, we want to have a good time. <laughs>